Australia is working to clamp down on a major cause of climate change, cows. Methane emissions from burping cattle produce a staggering 10% of the country's greenhouse gases. Roger Maynard tells us more. Deep in the heart of rural New South Wales, farmer John Wright is helping to address one of the world's most pressing issues, how to slow down global warming by reducing the amount of methane produced by his livestock. Burping cattle are no joke. It's a serious problem. Around the world, about 14.5% of all greenhouse gases come from animal agriculture. That's more than cars, planes and all other forms of transport put together. It's a similar figure here in Australia, where livestock are the third largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the country. Most farmers recognise the problem, but to solve it will require advances in the way cattle are fed and, more importantly, how they are bred. That's where John Wright comes in. A leading member of Farmers for Climate Action, John believes genetics will play an increasingly important role in the war against methane gas production. Genetics is a, is a very big part of breeding cattle and so it's had a, a significant role in improving the productivity and efficiency of, of our industry and when it comes to trying to reduce emissions there's a very big part it can play there as well which is really exciting for the industry. John's optimism is shared by scientists at Sydney University's Centre for Carbon, Water and Food. So basically what we do is we put them in machines like this um, and we also measure how much they eat every day. So we select those animals to become bulls, what we call sires, um, those animals that are more efficient and produce less methane. At his farm at Woodstock, more than 300 kilometres west of Sydney, John is monitoring the gases produced by his livestock. Each animal enters a green feeder, where its breath is analysed and the data compared with the feed it eats. The results show how to breed livestock which produce less methane. We can breed cattle to be more efficient. We can work out feeds that um, have particular additives or natural ingredients within those feeds that will mean less emissions as those animals eat it. If we've got feeds that enable the animals to be growing faster and more productively, they'll be producing less methane per kilogram of product. Apart from contributing to global warming, cattle and agriculture in general are also threatened by rising temperatures. There is much at stake here, with scientists racing to limit the effect of climate change on Australian agriculture. I guess in terms of animals coping with, with the impact of climate change, definitely this work is going to help those animals or, if you like, enable the breeding of animals that can cope uh, with the warmer climates that we're going to experience. Feed is our biggest cost on a day-to-day -day basis of breeding cattle, so um, if we can produce animals that require less feed, we're going to be more profitable. And then as a sideline to that, we will also be producing less methane and contributing to the problem of climate change less. John Wright believes there's no time to waste if the meat industry is to rise to the challenge posed by burping cattle and the impact of climate change generally. Roger Maynard, CNA, at Woodstock in rural New South Wales.